This is another audiovisual technique that's been around long before digital photography. And you see it used quite a bit by filmmakers, TV drama, and even television adverts. Differential focus needs to be done primarily in the camera, and then we help things along in our image editor. So we need to be on the lookout for subjects where we can take two images. One of the images should be focused on the background detail, and that allows the foreground to blur. You can see that this also combines quite well with opening titles. Then the second shot, allowing the background to blur while the foreground is brought into sharp focus. Generally speaking, a medium telephoto lens seems to work well, and we need to set a wide aperture so that we can easily blur the background when we want to and the foreground when we want to. Use a tripod if one happens to be tucked under your arm, but take the images handheld if not. The technique still works if you just take reasonable precautions to hold the camera relatively still. We are going to need to line up the two images in our image editor, because even on a tripod, the focus change from background to foreground is enough to throw the two images well out of alignment. This red flower is one example where the automatics in Photoshop didn't work, so a manual adjustment was made and the technique then still works fine, meaning that it can be created in any version of Photoshop or Photoshop elements. In this example we used a circular shaped transition from the centre outwards, but we moved the position of the shape so that it sits over the flower. In this railway steam tubes example, I would have liked a stronger subject through the hull, but despite not being able to achieve that, the technique still has some appeal, and once again, it could be used in creating opening titles. I followed the two images that create the differential focus here with a subject that matches the shape, using our circular shape transition in to the centre. This is a simple technique that many audio-visual enthusiasts don't use, and I think it's because it needs just a bit of thought and work to achieve. Their loss and our gain, because that means the technique never gets overused.